Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So um, I got a very exciting package in the mail today that I didn't think was going to be here till like July and it showed up today on Easter Monday and I thought I would love to film a video and talk about it with you guys. So um, I ordered a new Bible. Uh, the reason I ordered new Bibles is because I actually just want to collect Bibles. I love them and sometimes you just see a Bible and you're like oof that's very pretty. So I saw a Bible on a live stream with Holly Furtick and I was like that's a very pretty Bible and I just had to get my hands on it. So I got the Jesus Bible from the Passion Project. Um, I ordered this off Amazon though when it was on a pre-order and it was on a pretty big sale. Like I got like 40% off which is bomb because this Bible Canadian is actually very expensive but I got it for what the American price would be. So the reason I got this Bible is because everything in it relates back to Jesus which I think is such an important message as the whole gospel relates back to Jesus. So I'm going to show you an example of how this Bible's run, and this is my first impressions of this Bible, and I actually think it's gorgeous. So we're going to go through the Book of Esther as the example. So it says, Jesus, our divine advocate, and that's how they're starting the Book of Esther, because that's what they're going to say is the main theme of it. When you first open up to the book, it has the timeline of when this book would have taken place in all the life events of the Jewish people, which I love, and it has a little bit of thing where it's like, um, a little essay or a little blurb about what this book's about. When you go into the book, you can see that, uh, oh, I do not want to run any pages yet. Uh, you can see that single column and it starts off. You also have a great amount of room for journaling and you also have these little essays made throughout the book and sometimes the books have multiples. You also get little blurbs on the side that relates to certain verses of the book that you're studying that the people who made this Bible found very interesting. And I love when people do this because it shows more than what you're reading. I'm trying to go to the end. And then at the end of the book, it always has another little blurb and then it starts the next book with the same chapter. So it's going into Job. Um, this Bible is very hefty, which is something that I don't know if I would bring this to church. I think that I'm just going to use it as my personal devotional Bible because it is a pretty hefty weight. Um, it also is but stunning. It has two Bible tags and the pages are thick enough where you probably could Bible drill them. I'm, I don't think I'm going to test it out, but there probably is a girl who has tested it out on this YouTube universe. But it is definitely thick enough to highlight and I'm going to try out a few different highlighters and see which ones I like best. I have actual Bible highlighters from Amazon as well as these highlighters I use from school which are mild liners. And I see girls on Instagram use these on their Bibles all the time and then use a really nice fine point black pen. And they all have beautiful handwriting. I think I have okay handwriting but maybe this will make me get better. So we're going to try that. So this is the Bible I'm going to be studying in for the next while. I'm going to see if I can find a Bible study online and um, try to film me going through it on here because I, just, I love watching those videos. I think they're really fun and interesting. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for sharing in the excitement of my new little package. So I hope you guys have a great day and stay safe out there. Bye!